Listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. Don't be afraid to say no. Tell people no. <clears throat> tell them no. And say it with pride. Mm -mm. Don't beat around no bush. In the 2024, you tell people how you feel. And it's no. People are always wanting favors. Wanting to ask you to do this and do that. Man, if you don't feel led to do it, don't do it. If you've been putting in this work, going to work, going to the gym after work, doing college, uni, bachelor's, master's, PGCEs, you putting in all this work, and people who not putting in no work want to keep asking for favors, is no, there is no shortcuts. If you want to take shortcuts and be criminals, gangsters, whatever you want to call yourself, Take time out, go prison, come out and live the same life be, as before you went to prison. You want to live like that. Come out and, and expect people to look out for you. No, I cannot help you. If you're not on the, you don't. If you're not even drinking water every day, I don't want to be around you. You're not being positive. You ain't doing nothing with your life. Leave me alone. I can't help you. Nor do I want to help you. You know what I mean? I got children. Hold on, sorry. There we go. I got my own children, my own responsibilities, and everything else to take care of. If you're not trying to level up in life, you don't want to fast, you don't want to train, you don't want to do nothing but be a bum, don't ask me for no help. There is no shortcuts. There is none. Things are getting harder. If you not willing, if you didn't put that work in when you was younger, now you're getting older. As you see, one day, no one had to tell our children that the tooth fairy wasn't real, that Santa didn't exist. One day they woke up and realized, well, it's, there's no Father Christmas. They just woke up and realized that. No one had to tell them. You got moms run the dads down and make them seem bad and vice versa and one day the child realizes you know I don't believe what mom's saying about my dad my dad's not that type of guy my mom's not that type of mom you know what I mean see the whole time mom trying to do everything she want can to keep the daughter away it's only for a time Everything is only for a time. So I'm not saying when I say say no to be horrible to people. There is some people that if you feel led to help them, help them. Bless them. Be a blessing to them. But people who always want and just keep wanting, we can't help you. People have been putting in work since they were young. Some of them boxes been lacing up gloves from the time they could, could walk or even crawl probably. And now they reach old age and, and you're seeing them at the end and you want in. Mm -mm. Ain't no in. <laughs> Ain't no in. People been putting in this work. You're not just jumping in and coming and think you tag along with them. The people who've been working hard and you wanted to go prison. You wanted to be gangster and, and live that type of life and think that now you come out where we, people are supposed to be impressed. No one's impressed. They're impressed with that guy who's grinding. That guy that's putting in that work. Like I said, I just done. Went to China. I come back. Done my master's degree. Got accepted through a PGC. After that, God knows where I'm going to go. I could go back to China, Dubai. The world's my oyster. But I put the work in. The master's degree is no joke. I see why. When you tell people that you got a master's degree, they like, wow, you must really be smart. And me, I'm thinking I'm, I don't know, like, I don't think I'm no smart. I just did what was required. <laughs> and I'm, it's a lot of work. But what you have isn't good enough anymore. They want the best. If that's what's required to be the best, you got to do it. You have to put that work in. But there's no handouts. I can't help you. Trey, let me borrow this. No. 
Yeah, you know I mean, could you say borrow and you mean keep? I can't trust your word. If you said, Dre, can I borrow this until this date and I'll give it back with, you know, maybe interest or something that's going to benefit. What do I get out of this besides stress of worrying if you'll give it back to me? It's not worth it. It's not worth it to me. So the answer is no, don't even ask me. You know what I mean? I got children. I got nieces. I got nephews. I got people who need my help and my guidance and that I'm willing to help in that. But you just want to keep asking for things and you don't want to take my advice. When I said learn a skill, learn a trade. And once you learn one skill, learn the next one. Rinse off of that skill and learn something else. You're a barber, do the hair tattooing, I don't know. Yeah, do hairdressing, keep going. Get your, become a, a barber teacher. You have to keep expanding. Then branch off into other areas. You do nails, you do lashes, you do spray tan. You do everything. Money, money, money. It all costs. You give a package deal. You're making money. You ain't had to leave your house, but you're eating. And this is my point. Other people is putting in work learning, and you don't want to learn. You just want to live off people who put the work in. And it's no. I don't want you to come with me. When I go out, I'm good. I, I went out by myself for years. You want to meet me somewhere? Cool. can meet there. I've been in the gym since I was, what, 14, 15. I stepped in the boxing ring. That was late for people starting from young. I'm late, but I never stopped. You don't want to put in this work. I don't want you calling you when fights break out. Is there any money involved in these fights? It's in the streets. We're not use our talents for street fights with no money. <laughs> you know, we work all hard. It's not for just no reason. People are working hard to better themselves. You're not looking trouble with law-abiding citizens. You don't want to abide by the law? Stay away from people who do. You want to live that life. You made the bed, enjoy lying in it. Don't come over here in our bed. You want to break the law. You want to not abide by the rules of the countries that you live in. Uh, you may not like them, but they're the rules. If you don't want to follow them, don't bother us who follow them. Don't come getting us in trouble. Don't come asking for no favor. I'm going to tell you one thing. My one cousin, when I was younger, I used to be taking my, my son to, I don't know, it's a nursery. I forget where he was born. But I was in college. And I'm pushing him in a push chair through the snow. And my cousin said, I can't, I can't help you no more. I'm like, Dad, I don't got nobody to watch him. No, I can't help you no more. She ain't want me to help me if I ain't pay. I ain't got no money. His cousin's in prison. Guess who she has to cut her son's hair for free? To send her Jordans. You always be careful how you treat people. Because what goes around, it'll come around. It'll come around eventually. Always be careful. So I'm saying no. When you say no, it shows you have a backbone. You're not scared. That's what it shows. You don't give in to peer pressure. We didn't work this hard for people that don't want to put in no work to ask us for favors and just for us to say, yes, here, you can borrow this and never pay me back. Oh yeah, you can ride along with me, no fuel money. No, there's no. So, like I said, man, I hope everyone has a blessed day. Um, hopefully I'll see you in Crazy Bear one day. God bless.